So how do we play Thinking Out Loud by Ed Sheeran on the guitar? In this video, I'm going to show you how. Thank you for your suggestion, Peter. So what are we doing first here? So we're going to hammer on to a D chord. What do I mean by this? So we're going to take our ring finger, we're going to put it on the third fret of the B string like this, and we're going to pluck the D, G, and B strings, which is going to sound like this. And then what you're going to do is hammer on to the second fret of the G string with your index finger. And that's going to sound like this. So after that, we're going to keep that D shape here, but we're going to play a D over F sharp. And how we do that is we just put our thumb right here. This might be hard for some people. I have big hands. It's just how I play it. So you're going to put your thumb on the second fret of the E string, and then you're going to pluck the E string, D string, G string, and B string. So it's going to sound like this. Then the third chord shape is a G. So the way I play it is I take my middle finger, sorry, and we're going to put that on the third fret of the E string, and we're going to keep that ring finger on the third fret of the B string, and we're going to pluck the same strings as the previous chord. And then the last chord is an A. So for you, those of you who don't know, an A is just second fret on the D, G, and B strings. I like to bar it with my index finger. You can also play it like this, but I find this a lot easier. And you're going to only pluck the A, D, G, and B strings, and that's going to sound like this. And then after you pluck this chord, he does this cool little hammer-on pull-off thing. And the thing I really like about how he plays this is it's kind of lazy. It's not always consistent. So it, it sounds like this. So the way that you play that is you start with the, the uh, second fret of the G string, you hammer on to the fourth fret of the G string, then you pull off to that second fret, and then you pull off to the open string. So when you're done, it sounds like this. And yeah, that's basically it. And then for the rhythm, you're just smacking in between all the chords, except for when you do the hammer on. So then when you put it all together, it sounds like this. I hope that helps. Let me know if you have any other questions.